You motherfuckers! You motherfuckers! Why would you throw bombs at people? And and first off, that was a grenade. Why was the explosion so minuscule? <laughs> What's up guys, it's Salaviathan and we're back with another reaction today. We are continuing Tribe 9, we're on episode 8. And um, episode 7 was good, you know. It was, um, I would say, more of a setup episode, essentially. Um, there wasn't really much in terms of like uh, actual extreme baseball content, even though the whole show is about extreme baseball. But, mind you, it was good, okay because... Um, it seemed as though like we were preparing for something a little bit bigger going on here. We got introduced to um, a new tribe, I guess, called the Ulta tribe. Well, I guess two new tribes. The Setagaya tribe, which is a little bit trash, and it seems to be only a, a um, obese man and a bunch of uh, women in bikinis. That seems to be the whole tribe. I didn't see anybody else there, so I'm assuming that's all it is. And then you also have the um, Ulta tribe, which are a tribe that come from a region called Ulta that is basically poor as shit, slums, all that stuff. And you basically have to fight and kill to, to, to live and survive, you know? So, I could have just said fight to kill to survive, but <laughs> whatever. <laughs> anyway, it was really crazy because we got to meet the, um, the leader of the tribe and we learned right then and there why he was the leader of the tribe. Because it seems as though like their tribe is survival of the fittest where they will steal, rob, and kill you. Doesn't matter if you're the leader, doesn't matter if you're a fellow tribe mate, it's, it's every man for himself, right? And people were trying to step up to Sonoda and try to steal his money and they, he basically took out all of them on his own so you can kind of see why he's the leader of their tribe but um don't want to waste any more time we're just gonna get started with episode 8 over here don't forget to like share and subscribe turn on notifications down below so you know when I upload next and also make sure you check out the patreon link for full on cut reactions of this show many other anime and movies and other stuff check it out it's only for a dollar all access definitely worth it but it's all up to you ultimately <laughs> but anyway without further ado though we're gonna get started with tribe nine episode eight let's go <laughs> come on man i love how we're just starting in such an extremely way with this guy just like beating on somebody that we have no idea to a bloody pulp the son of the guy's a badass man <laughs> Almost immediately, he's like, I promise I won't kill you anymore. Stupid bastard, I'm gonna slaughter you when, when your back is turned. <laughs> ええ、教えてくださいよ。ダメ。ミステリアスキャラでいたいの。はく、逃げろ。はい。逃がすな。ちょっと待って。ウェイウェイウェイウェイ。ホールドオン。ウェイウェイウェイウェイ。ホールド
オータトライブっていやこの前の大会では見るからにザコの集まりって感じだったな奴らに命狙われるなんて一体どうしたんだよハルいや分かんないですけどそんな奴らが僕を消そうと躍起になっているどどうしてカズキさんを聞かないでもらえると嬉しいな、うん、でも今は無理に話さなくてもいいわ。m i n o t o t r i b e people are too nice, bro. If I were them, I'd be like, yo, you need to tell us what's, what's your, on your mind and, your, and what's on your shit, bro. <laughs> Who's got grenades coming out of their asses, man? That was more than five minutes, man. Where are they getting these heavy weaponry from? Got it. Dude, people in the show just die like they're nothing, man. <laughs> リーダーは話のわかるやつみてえだなどうかしら<笑>早く始めようぜ XB やりたくてうずうずしてんだ<笑>望むところよプレイボール一<笑><笑>、二、三あれメンバーが足りないんじゃああ今呼んだ Okay That's not even a plane That's just a janky thing that was being pulled by another plane What the in the heck I don't understand these people The Ulta tribe they're so weird <laughs> They're so strange I don't know how this guy treats his teammates He doesn't even know what XP is That's the Oh my god, what? Wait, what? He doesn't even know what XB is? I don't understand. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. That's what I t ねむい。お前がXBやるって言い出したんだろ。言ってない。ふざけ。ほっとけばそのうち起きるだろう。そうだよ。先にうちらだけで言いやっちゃおう。ふざけ。かっとうとせ。あじゃし。不思議ち
ャッチロボは無反応おストライク Okay, there is no way that the moon robot isn't jumping in on this. What the heck?、Uh, the only thing keeping everybody alive was the fact that those robots were stopping them from doing anything. Now that they hacked the robots, I think everyone is gonna have like a pretty bad time here. Yo, Manami is in like crazy cat boy form. Because <laughs> even though he looks scary, he still kind of looks a little bit like his normal face. I knew it! That Yasuhiro guy is trying to snake him again! This piece of shit! I hate his guts! I hate his guts! This Yasuhiro guy is such a scumbag! He's not Haru's friend! He's a piece of shit! Shut the fuck up. Haru is way more of a character than you are, you piece of shit, pathetic scumbag. You're nothing, bro. You're trash. Of course, you're looking down on him, man. I'm looking down on him. He's, he's such a loser, bro. Toss him to the side, man. Oh my god, I love seeing Haru get mad in this regard, bro. He was just like, why are you trying to use them as pawns against them? Oh, seems like Ayama has a secret. Oh, we're actually about to learn the story. So, Ojiro and him were friends, bro? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. So it sounds like Kazuki and、um, Ojiro had a past. It sounds as though like Ojiro and Kazuki here in this regard sounds like they were, they were both on the same tribe one time, but Ojiro kind of got a little bit.、Um, Um, I guess focused on strength and kind of cast Kazuki aside. That's what I'm getting from here. But I'm glad this guy, Sonada, actually kind of、um, told us this right now because I wasn't trying to go through a whole backstory, you know? <laughs> That was a really quick backstory, but I liked it. <laughs> yo, my guy, Tiger's back, yo! Hey, and he looks like he got strong as shit right now, too. Yo, what? Yo, he, yo, he bent the battle. So, that was Tribe 9, episode 8. Good episode. Good episode.、Um, I didn't expect the Ota tribe to not know the rules of XP. But that, that, that ended up making them even more scarier because then they have like no honor, they have no sense of the rules, they just kind of doing their own thing. It was really interesting seeing the Ulta tribe kind of come in because they are the definition of chaos. I'm not even kidding. Like, the guy was killing his teammates like they were nothing. Like, he was walking around just doing whatever the fuck he wants. You know, like, he was just, like, they were all crazy, man. Like, the one guy who was just running around, like, ha ha ha. Like laughing all over the place. That guy was crazy as shit. Like, he just jumps into the water and he's like, I can't swim. <laughs> like, what the heck? <laughs> That was actually great to see. But now it sounds like they're kind of cheating a little bit, you know, kind of like taking away the robots and things like that. So it was really interesting kind of seeing a little bit going through here. It was weird seeing the pink haired girl, um, Um, what's it called? Kind of、um, warn Kazuki that they were coming to kill him. But that kind of made a little bit more sense later on in the episode when we learned that Ayama and、um, 
I keep saying Kazuki. I have to either say Ayama or Kazuki. His name is Ayama. We found out that Oya Ayama and Ojiro had a were on the same team in the past, and they were both really good XP players. But Ojiro didn't really like that. So uh, for some reason, it seemed as though like um he he got really pissed off and just casted uh, Ayama aside, which also makes a lot of sense why his arm is probably mangled. You know, because I'm thinking like he got into like something with Ojiro, and Ojiro just like broke his arm in like three pieces. I guarantee, like cop, 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 like cracks, like cracks for days. You know, because that's the kind of guy Ojiro is. But we got through to the more of the episode. Now the Minotaur tribe is kind of all dead. Essentially, they're all like taken out, beaten up, whatever. And um, you know, we had now we had only Haru and um, Ayama kind of just kind of like trying to build things back up. They're a hundred runs up. But there's two more rounds, so I don't know what's going to happen here. If they kill them, like, you can't really do anything about that. So, meh, meh, whatever. Taiga's back, though. So, that's always that was a plus. And I like to see what he did there at the end because he saved Haru's life, essentially. Because Haru was about to die. Like, he was about to get scythed in the back. But he's like, Buah! punched the guy in the face, tossed him to the side. And surprisingly, made a dent in the metal. So, Taiga, Taiga's a beast now. Yeah. I guess get ready for um, home run Taigas. Because <laughs> seems as though. I hope he doesn't pull up that fishing thing in there where he starts to hit the bat with his leg like that again. You know? Because that was, that was retarded. <laughs> Mind my language, but yeah. <laughs> anyway. Um. Yeah. I think that's it for that. I will see you guys around. Thank you guys for all the support you give. Always appreciate it. Always keeps pushing me to keep pu pushing, putting out these videos. Um, I'm always, I'm always kind of a little bit overwhelmed with how much I'm putting out, but you know what? The grind never stops. It never stops. I'll see you guys around. Bye.